Good morning. Good morning. It's Kaylin with Remax Real Estate Center. And Lisa with Global State Mortgage. Yes, we're practicing our um, homecoming court poses today. Yes. Yes. Because <laughs> there's parades. There's parades, exactly. It's there's high school homecoming. Yes, and on. there's the walking down. Yeah. Because, right, there's exactly. Uh, yeah, right, people on the court voting. There's. Um, um, oh, so there's assemblies, there's assemblies, dress up days, dress up days. So yes. it's our homecoming. So my boys go to South Hamilton to school. Mm -hmm. And um, I noticed the other day it was tacky tourist Tuesday. <laughs> and oh my gosh, watching, I think all the kids participated, watching all the kids come out of really? the school with their tacky tour, which some of them are pretty tacky, um, including my boy. <laughs> so um, where were so, tacky? Well, so he wore like his fedora with his Hawaiian shirt, with an unmatching t-shirt, with a tie that was tied but down to here. And then he had, I found an old camera. I was right? going to say, we have a camera yes, around we had a camera around That's hard neck. to find nowadays. It's a it was. I found it in this odd drawer, right? Yep. yep. And then um, he had on green socks with his slides. <laughs> I love it. I mean, I love these homecoming traditions and yes. things that are going on. I don't think I can't really remember. It's been so long ago. I don't know that we did anything other than the assembly and the football game and the dance. I don't really remember anything odd. Other really, than we that. had yeah. dress up days, and then we also we had that. really great assembly. We had the best teachers in high school. And I just saw actually one of my old teachers, Mrs. Walhans, and she's retired um, from just everything now. But our teachers dress like they did. Um, actually, in our um, band teacher, Mr. Colden, they did red and the white spots. Oh, and they, like the, so the teachers got up and had this whole dance. Oh my gosh, that would have been us. fun. So, yeah. yeah, so it's kind of, it's a fun week. I just saw somebody post to like one of the girls, like, I love homecoming. And I'm like, really? Yeah, I'm like, it's kind of a fun. Well, I got really involved in homecoming, not when I was in high school, but when my daughter was on the homecoming committee. Oh, of course. When she's you funny. have, yes, I have. <laughs> I have a daughter that was in every club she could be in yes yes so she was on the homecoming committees student council you know you name it she Everything. was in, in sports and all that kind of stuff so homecoming for me was a lot of work oh right because you, right. you were the mom making i was the mom she for signed up for everything hey mom i need poster board hey mom i need markers hey oh, mom i need geez. can we have the committee meetings in yes. our house you know you make some food decorating t-shirts making posters you know and then of course uh, when she was a senior she was Junior, no, juniors are run the homecoming. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, because um, um, there was a meeting or talked to the principal about the moms. And I said, well, why am I involved? Because your daughter's on the committee. Oh, I have to do all this. So our video just <gasps> stalled there. So I don't oh. know what you missed out oh, there. But sorry. yeah, when your mom, when your daughter's yeah. on the committee, the mom's on the committee. Right. Yeah. You're, so, you're but that was fun, really. I mean, look back on it and they had the dress up days and different yeah. themes. And that was fun. Yeah, so, yeah, it was fun. And then my son went through high school and participated in nothing. Oh. <laughs> I was in one extreme to the other. Right, he was in football, golf, and, and track, but no committees. No committees. Yeah, I think he, you know, saw what his sister did. Yeah, go in there, mom. Uh, I'm gonna save you from all of it. Yeah, so it was nice. I was not at the high school near as much. But she was in school. But there was there almost every day. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she's a lot of maintenance oh, if she's listening. Right, so. Erica. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So yeah, so homecoming is is fun, and you know, you kind of know what's going on, and. And so, what is with this box, Lisa? <laughs> the, oh, wrong way, the box. So, why are we talking about a box? <laughs> so, as you can tell, this is, you know, Amazon got the arrow, right? Everybody probably all knows the little arrow, right? They do. And the box. And if you, so, have you ever gone, whether you're at the, you've ordered something or you're at the store, and then they kind of look at you like, this isn't going to fit. Mm -hmm. Right, right. What you want, not gonna fit. It's awkward. Right. It's not quite the right shape. It's not. Quite it doesn't work the, right the way, way you want it. it. Doesn't work the way you want it. Right. So it's not going to work for you. Right. Well, so in the loan business, there are nice little products right yes. there offered that they're super convenient. They're really nice and and just things right. Everything about your profile, everything right. Fits in the box, right? So, which is, a, so a thirty-year, twenty percent down fixed loan is in the box. It's in the box. Uh, three and a half percent down FHA, in the box. It, yes, kind of. It's kind of, like right. standards aren't set Standard. in the box, but that is an in the box. Right. It would fit in, in the, the box. box, right? So yes. what if I don't fit into that box? So if you don't fit into the box, okay, we have 
programs, and I just don't think people realize all the programs that are out there okay. for somebody who doesn't fit in the box. Let's see. Let's see what doesn't fit in the box. Ooh, a bank statement loan. What is that all about? <laughs> so if you are somebody who is self-employed, sometimes your taxes do not really show what you make. Um, okay. And so there is a program called the Bank Statement Loan. And I mean, right, it's a lot of paperwork because I need your bank statements mm -hmm. and all of them. But we're looking at deposits. We're looking at different things like that to actually develop your income. Okay. Um, so if you are self-employed, I mean, this is just one product for that self-employed person that doesn't fit in, in the, the box. In the box. You're going to, I should have another something, but you fit outside of the box. Okay. All right. Well, here's another one. It says one year of self-employment because typically you have to have two years history of self-employment yes. to take a look at getting a, a mortgage yeah so what you can so you can do it if you're only employed of you can year. there's a program out there that say you you had a career and um um well, i just had a person ask me about this so say you were working at a landscaping company right <laughs> mm -hmm. and now you've gone out on your own started your own company and you've been in it for a year um but not two years Okay. So there is a program out there that oh. we have we can do that you're in it for not two years, but um, that's really helpful because there's a lot of people that um, are considered self-employed, like hairstylists. Yes. Yes. You know, uh, as well, like there's a lot of landscapers, there's a lot of um, contractors, there's yeah. a lot of realtors. Yes. They were really self-employed. You are. So. And so it, if you're 1099, so people say, no, I'm not self-employed, I'm 1099. I'm like, well, you're self-employed. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Or you, in other words, in other words, you own your own business. You own your own business. Exactly. You're not having somebody exactly. take taxes out, and you're having to do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, here's a tough one for outside the box. Ooh. Yeah. Lower credit scores. Lower credit scores. So I think there's a little bit of a misconception out there that I need to have this credit score to qualify. Okay. Um, and so whether you're looking at um, some government products mm -hmm. going down to a 580 credit score. Mm -hmm. um, and they're kind of even, I just heard at our last meetings that we might be going down to a 550 credit score on some wow. products. Um, so I think that there's some there's some guidelines and our loan products are still make sense. We've got to provide and now maybe your debt to income ratio needs to be a little bit lower when you've okay. got a lower credit score. Right. But there's some options out there for you. Even if you're looking in the jumbo, um, those higher priced homes okay. with a higher price loan amount, um, you still don't have to have perfect credit. There's some right. options out there for you to get along. So your credit score, um, you should look. I mean, at least talk to somebody um, about right. whether you qualify now or how we can get you there. But it doesn't have to be as high as some people think it needs to be. Okay. But with all of these, I would imagine that your terms are going to be a little bit a little different. different. Your interest rates going to be a little higher. Is that correct? Could be. Yep. Yep. So, so, risk, so your interest rate and your risk all mm -hmm. kind of go together. Exactly. So you're probably not going to get the lowest interest rate with these, but there are options for you. Well, and so if you can get into some of these products mm -hmm. and then maybe we improve your, you know, depending on where rates are, you can refinance. Right. There's different options. But right. if you, if the payment works for you and right now it gets you into something maybe now rather than as prices go up and rates go mm -hmm. up, it, you know, helps exactly. You out. Okay. So investment properties. Ooh, investment properties. So you want to buy an investment property. property. Yeah, so investment properties, um, you know, we don't do zero down like some of the infomercials. Yeah. Um, but you can do <laughs> lower down with a one single family house. Um, and then some people think once they own four houses, oh, mm -hmm. now I've got to do a commercial loan. You don't. You can oh. Once you get into that number five investment property, mm -hmm. there's a little different parameters, but still super doable. And you can still do a 30-year fixed. Okay. On an investment property, even after that fourth one, and so okay, um, that's good advice too. Yeah, which so, is a little because a lot of people, box. it is, and a lot of people are looking at that as part of their um, retirement portfolio as they investment are. properties. Yes. Ooh, medical profession, starting your residency or your first job, because I would imagine they Lots have a lot of student, student debt. debt. <laughs> so you're just coming out of your residency. You've got to, you know. Yes. A, you're actually a doctor now. You are. You're going to start your first job. And right. you've gotten and that you, job. You want to buy a house, right? right? And so we typically know that in that medical profession, um, the income that you are going to receive mm -hmm. um, is greater than some of the other jobs. And But yet you're starting off with a lot of student debt. So right. this program is awesome um, that addresses that student debt and addresses even like this is future income that's coming in. That's so it's know. really a good program. Because yeah, this really can be uh because you know when you're in your residency you're probably i mean you're not 
21. Right. So you've been around a while. You might already have a family. Yes, so a lot of you have a family. family. Yeah. yeah, and so medical profession, just so you know, mm -hmm. is our doctors, and, and you're actually practicing medicine, mm -hmm. um, your dentists and your veterinarians are okay. all in the medical profession. So if you have a doctor in that name, Come but see you, us. Right, but you can't be like a doctor of psychology. <laughs> okay, gotcha. A medical doctor, <laughs> medical sorry. Doctor. Yes. <laughs> you can't be like a doctor of paleontology like boss on friends or something. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. okay. All right, so manufactured housing. That always comes up when we're looking at homes that are manufactured housing. Nothing wrong with the house. Nope. It's just a different type of construction. So sometimes in loan programs, that can be an issue. It is. It's an issue for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, and so we have conventional options, FHA options, low down payment options okay. for a manufactured house. But it does put it outside the box okay. um, because there's a, a few different um, engineering, structural engineer certificate certs that have to right. happen. Um, but don't just back away from it because it is a manufactured house. So right. it, there's definitely options out there for it. Perfect. Okay. Ooh, renovation loans. So you're buying something that is structurally sound, but you know needs a few things. So yes. can you borrow money to get that fixed up? You can. Oh, that's so nice. Which is so nice because you do it within your first loan. So it's okay. not like buying the house and then having to figure out, oh my gosh, where am I going to get the money to renovate this house? Right. It's all incorporated in it. I've actually seen a few houses on the market lately that are just really outdated, like mm -hmm. really outdated. And they're just sitting there because of that fact. Right. So you come in, um, there's the conventional renovation loan and there's an FHA one, but you come in and you close on the house as a purchase and then mm -hmm. that renovation is done after. Okay. So it's an awesome product. And I think, I wish more people kind of would be like, Oh, yeah, because the value has to come in, right? Mm -hmm. We do all right. that ahead of time with the appraisal to make sure it's all coming in like it should. Um, but it's a really great option that I think a lot of people don't think about right. when they're walking into a house. So here's a question I do have with this, though. Yeah. The renovations have to be done by a licensed contractor, correct? They do. You can't go in and do them yourself. That is the one thing, yeah, because we... Yeah. We want to make sure as the loan, right? Mm -hmm. We're in, we're still back in that loan. Right. So we want to make sure it gets done. Right. That's actually right. the biggest thing. Yeah. And it gets done correctly. Right. So you don't want me going in there and changing out the electrical box or anything right, like that. Right, because you haven't fixed your TV yet. So. <laughs> I have No, I have not. It's talking about ghost TV. But I did put together a, a do-it-yourself assembled lamp. Yesterday. Oh, good. But that's yes. not construction. So All right. Good. I can't undo it. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, this is interesting. Asset utilization. I think you typed that wrong. It's oh, I did. Okay, don't here. show anybody. <laughs> Housing event, short sale, foreclosure. That's typed wrong too. No <laughs> MI options. Load and no down payment options. We won't show this because obviously Lisa was in a hurry when she typed this. So let's talk about asset utilization. What does that mean? So that's another thing for those um, mostly, it's, sometimes it's not self-employed, but it's people that have a ton of money, but it's um, it's caught up, right? And a ton mm -hmm. of assets. So you put it away in investments. And okay. You, you put it away in things. So some people are like, so it's I, not liquid money. Essential. No, it's okay. not. And not so liquid. you're like, I could technically pay cash for this house. I mean, that's right. how most it is. And you actually have to have enough in assets. You could pay cash for this house, okay. but you don't want to pay cash for this house because right. you're like, no, I'd like to keep all this money in because my... Because it's earning. Because it's earning. Right. And so we're um, calculating income and things like that, um, taking them from the huge amount of assets, basically, that you have. So right. it's a great program for somebody like that. And so foreclosures and short sales, we have some programs now that there's certain minimum time requirements that have to be behind that. There's some programs that say, oh, we, we are going to shorten that time because mm -hmm. you're going to show us with other things that you're good for gotcha. this and it was just an event that happened yep um, exactly. that exactly. way like, you know, yeah during the recession yeah well, job loss whatever and yeah. now things kind of set back again yeah right. so I think awesome there's, options. there's lots of look at boxes empty boxes empty we're waiting for you to fill that in Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so fill it in here, or you can fill it in outside Slide the, the box. box. See, there's lots of <laughs> options. Well, good. This was a lot of great information for those that just aren't that just typical, a uh, twenty percent down, thirty year fixed loan. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Because low down payment, three mm -hmm. and a half, three percent, three and a half percent, five yep. percent. Gift yep. funds. I think gift funds was one. Of my, you know, yeah. if you have, don't have your own money, gift funds. There you go. If somebody's willing to. Give it to you, then <laughs> we'll put it on a house. We'll right? figure out how to use it. How to use it. All right. Yes. Well, thanks, everybody, and hope everybody's homecoming weeks are 
fun and, and, and inspiring and inspiring and memory making. Memory making. Yeah. So obviously, we're older and we still remember, remember. homecoming. <laughs> oh, yeah. I won't tell you the bad memories. Oh, yeah. the good ones. Good ones. Yeah. Probably about the good ones. <laughs> All right. See you guys next week and have a great weekend.